What's going on, my friends? Uh, so today's video, I'm um, I'm gonna show what to do when you wanna start engine that is not in the boat, okay? So I got this engine a long time ago. I would say like maybe four years, something like that. And I had it on my boat, which is uh, a 20, um, Aquasport 20. But um, I mean, the boat is too heavy and it needed a bigger engine. So I replaced it for a 115 and now it's doing the job pretty much good. And I have this one seated in there, you know, for a spare, just in case I, um, you know, it breaks one day, the other one, and, and I need an extra engine or whatever. But um, I stick in a lot of room in, the, in my garage and I got some good babies that I, I need to work on and I don't wanna have a lot of stuff around. Look at this Chevy, yeah. It's a 1953 Chevy that I'm gonna do some electrical work and, um, and also repair some leaks on the engine. But um, I was thinking to make a video of this because I mean, I think they serve it. I don't know, I maybe start my own uh, channel for cars now. I don't know. So going back to the engine, um, you know, the, the, I posted an offer up. Somebody's gonna come to see it today. But uh, you know, of course I wanna, I wanna show it running and check the compressor for him and make sure, you know, it's fine and he's take an engine that is 100% working. So I'm gonna show you, okay? So this is a 2006 Everroot E-Tech engine. It's a fuel injection engine, it's not a carburetor. It has computers and sensors and stuff like that. It's like a car, you see? It's in really good condition. I remember putting a new starter, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, but I, I didn't use it as much. So it's still pretty new. So this is where we gotta connect it to the starter. See, the positive goes here and the ground goes here. And then we can hook it up to a, a battery or a, a battery pack, jump starter, whatever you, you, you have. And right here, you see. Put the ground in there already. Positive here. I got two nice cables that I have from different boats. Also, you gotta connect these cables for starting switch and this engine, they are under this cover right here. Even the old ones, you still can kind of, uh, because the colors are the same, so you may have to cut it because you don't have the connector. The colors are not are the same, but the, the, the connector is different. But you maybe can, um, you know, jump the cables, jump the connectors, and, and, and make it work. If you don't have the cable, but try, try to get the cables well too. Also, since uh, this engine is fuel injector, so has to have a computer. And if you have access to computer, you know you can you can plug it in here. This is the connector right here. That's right here. And you, uh, you know, get a, you can you can read the hour. This engine is a fuel injection engine. It's not carburetor. So that means that it has a computer on. And then you can, uh, you know, plug a computer here, the software, if you have access to it. If not, it'd be good to try to find somebody with a computer. You know, that'd be a plus if you can. You can read the hours. Um, you know, if you have any codes or anything like that. But, um, but uh, yeah, like I say, if not, or you're at least trying to start it and get it going for a few minutes, check the compression. In this case, I know the engine has 600 hours in it. I've, I've put a computer before. I'm gonna start it. I just wanna crank it because I'm supposed to start it with water running through it with ear. But 
I just wanna crank it for now and then we'll check the compression. Right here. But the first thing I'm gonna do is take the spark plugs because I haven't started the engine in a long time. I would say maybe a year or so. So I'm gonna get the spark plugs off, make sure that they're, you know, they're, they're clean and stuff like that and, and then I'm gonna crank. Okay, before you start it, just make sure these two wires are connected because this is the um, um, kill switch. And also make sure you got some protection here because there's a lot of voltage running through here. And if the engine starts and you grab it like this, you're gonna have a really bad electrical shock. In this case, you got some protection here, but in some old ones, you don't have that. So be careful when you hold it like this. Make sure you wrap it with a rag or something, okay? So let's see what happens. Okay, it's good. It sounds good. Now I'm gonna check the compression. This is the compression tester that I got. I've been using it for years. And um, you can buy this in any other parts. Okay. Here we are in. So we are about the same between one ten and one fifteen. As long as those cylinders, all the cylinders are in the same uh, compression, you're good. If you have one that has 130 and the other one has 85, then, then you have a problem. But uh, all, the, all of them are the same, like 110, 130, or, or, or even 90. Some engines run pretty good with 90. Remember, when the engine warm up, the compression normally goes up. Because the metal, the metal expands with the heat like um, the piston rings are sealed up and they get a better compression so i got the third one ready let me crank it what happened all right yes we're about the same between 115 and 110 115 i think it's pretty good um if you buy an engine like this remember it's 2006 with this compression you're good, you're good. You know, I've seen engines running with 90 pounds and they're running perfect. Okay, so the now the next team, I gotta hook up the hose, I gotta hook up the, um, the gasoline and, and see, um, make sure the engine is start. Like I said, I gotta put the gasoline on. I gotta hook up the gasoline. And this engine, this where the gasoline goes. Okay. Some other ones it has a quick connector here, but this no, this type goes straight to the end, and it goes through here. And, of course. and I have external tank because I am, you know, always working on this, always working on boats and stuff like that. It's always good to have external tank, you know, to test drive. Sometimes if the fuel tank and your boat is bad and we don't know what's happening, it's better have a um, external tank just for test. And I've got a hose here. I made it nice because I use it so much. And this this end will go to the engine. With the engine, it's kind of got good compression. I know it's gonna start. And now I'm gonna focus on working on this baby right here. It's a big project. Like I said, I'm gonna make a video for this. Thing coming in here. My external tank. Pump it a few times. Prime this thing. Choose filter. And let me hook up the water. The hose is connected and then um, let me fire this thing.
can you know start your engine that is not in the boat and i'll show you how remember this engine is a fuel injection engine and as you can see it start right away after about a year i would say a year you know sitting inside the garage i had a cover of course not dusty but um it started you know it started right away i was very happy and uh, the compression is good you have no problems if you buy an uh, engine you know that is not in the boat and you cannot go for test drive you know make sure you uh, at least check the compression and you know get it running get it running make sure it starts you know the coils are good spark plugs and stuff like that you may have to change the spark plug if you buy a boat an engine that has been sitting for about a year that, that's not a big deal but at least you know if, if the boat is the engine will start so um thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share see you guys in the next one thank you